That's a lot of firepower. Yeah, it is. Pretty sticky situation. Stickier than two Siamese twins. One gay, one straight, but they share the same anus. What? Don't ask questions, just lay down some suppressive fire. We have no choice. We need to call him. What? He doesn't even know us. We have no choice. He is a tech P, seer instructor, YouTube star. You're really strong arming me on this one. Chris, bring up that radio. We gotta call in Grand Thumb. Is he dead? Half his head's gone. No, he, but he was wearing his Kevlar. It's rated up for anything below 762. Obviously not. Oh. It's heavy, it's ugly, it's almost as bad as wearing a JPC without any plates. But it is probably better than a hard-headed veteran's <laughs> ballistic helmet. Today on Midnight Run, we're gonna be talking about the Army issue ACH. Nobody likes to wear it, guys, but let's see if it even will protect you from anything. So, we're gonna do a ballistic test with a couple different rifles here and pistols. We got a SIG P320, we got the standard Glock shooting the 9mm, we got an AR-15 with a 5.56, normal AK with that 7.62-39, she's a power horse, and then we'll probably end it up, if she survives, with the 308. So let's go see if this Kevlar and this ACH is even worth a damn, or if you're just gonna get your head blown off. Come on, I think we got the best, <laughs> I think we got the best setup here in Midnight Run history. So we have the uh, Ballistic Dummy Labs head on top of this post here <laughs> with the Kevlar on it. So this is gonna be a really, really good shot. And then we got the GoPro up over there. So uh, mark my words, we're probably gonna destroy another one. This will be what, Kyle? Number four? Number four is eating it. Number four, Go number four GoPro that's eating it on Midnight Run. So we're gonna try out the, uh, we're gonna do the nine millimeter first. Probably from what? What do you think? Like 15 feet? See what it does? Probably yeah, gonna five get yards. Uh, gonna get a ricochet to the face. I hope not. But all right, let's go. Uh, let's go pelt it with some nine millimeter. So I don't. I'm kind of nervous. I'm not sure. Do you think it'll even ricochet or what? I think it's a possibility. I think it's gonna skip. Uh, no, I don't even have plates on, so we'll see. But all right, we'll uh, we'll try it with the nine millimeter first. Uh, should we stand back? I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. All right. I miss it. Every time you hit it. There we go. No, I hit it twice. Let's go check it out. There we go. Yeah? So it didn't even go through it, did stop at nine millimeter. I thought it was at least gonna go into it, like through it. Nope. Huh. There was where we where it went. No exit wound, so it's good. It'll stop a nine millimeter. So that's pretty good uh, news that the ACH will stop a nine millimeter. I thought for sure that it was just gonna go right through it, but we're gonna move up to the big guns now, and we're gonna try out uh, the AR-15 with just the 5.56. This thing wasn't sighted in, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what it does. All right, here we go. Nice, got it right in the side. Let's go see how it is. Went right through it. There was nine millimeter. 
the nine millimeter stopped. Your 556, five, there's the entry. There's the exit, so it went right through it. His head's fine though. You suck. I think. Nope. It's on the other side. Went right through his head. So much for being rated for a 762. Let's try uh, the 762 and see what it does. I mean, now it's already gonna go through it, but we still got a whole head, so let's let's dump a mag at it. Let's see what the uh, AK can do with the 762 by 39. Uh, I doubt if the 556 is gonna go through it, I almost guarantee you the uh, 762 by 39 is gonna gonna go through, but we'll we'll test it out. Here we go. Smoked her a couple times. <laughs> oh yeah, clipped right through it and then there it was. Ooh, you suck! Went directly through it. I hit the head a couple times. And uh, there's, <laughs> there's your exit wounds. Definitely is uh, <laughs> definitely isn't bulletproof. So the the ACH didn't even stop the 762 by 39 like it was supposed to. So the 308 is definitely going to go right through it. But why not? We still got some ammo. We still got uh, the head still intact. The, uh, the the ACH is still intact too. So. Uh, we might as well just do a, let's just do a mag dump right at the head, yeah? All right, here we go. The SCAR 20, suppressed SCAR 20, uh, shooting the 308. All right. So, this is the result. This is the result of uh, a headshot with a 308. It went right through it. Jeez, man, that's a mess. His head literally exploded. Kevlar didn't really do much. Uh, and that's the, <laughs> that's the aftermath. <laughs> That's the aftermath of a 308 if it shot you in the head. So, uh, either way, you're dying with or without a Kevlar. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's that. So, the Kevlar or the, the ACH only stopped nine millimeter. So, that's that. Good shoot, good video, yeah? So, just a disclaimer before we end this video I'm not saying don't wear a Kevlar because the Kevlar will definitely save your life in a lot of situations. It's not, I wouldn't say that it's a very uh, fair test to just start blasting at like point, point blank range with armor piercing uh, 5.56 five, rounds. So just before this video ends, you should always wear a Kevlar and you should always wear a helmet. I'm not saying don't, but it's not, uh, as you can see what it does to your head, it punches it punches right through. <laughs> it punches right through the Kevlar and uh, right through your head and you die. So, but again, just a disclaimer, I'm not saying don't wear a helmet. You should always wear a Kevlar. It will protect you in a lot of different other situations. Shrapnel, blasts, rollovers, whatever it may be. I'd rather have a Kevlar on than no Kevlar. So, definitely always wear a Kevlar, but as you can see, it's not as bulletproof as people say it is. It's not rated up to 7.62. It's rated up to 9mm. 9mm was the only one that stopped it. And then we moved up to the 5.56, punched right through it. And then moved up to the 7.62 by 39, punched right through it. And then the 308, punched right through it and exploded his head. So um, that was the end result. Hope you guys liked the video. Thank you again. 
And uh, if you can give that subscribe, that like button, and that uh, leave a comment on how much you hate Kyle, it really helps me out, it really helps the channel out. Thank you so much. Later.